Hi, in this lecture, we're going to see the main power system. We're going to see the power source, the power jack, and the switches or MOSFETs near to the power jack. We're going also to see the charge IC, etc. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the power jack. Okay, here we have the power jack. As you see, this is the DC jack. Okay, exactly like this one okay this is the dc jack where we put the adapter okay this is the dc jack we have here two switches as you can see this is two switches okay as you can see exactly like this these two switches okay so here we have the dc jack as you can see so here these parts as you see all these parts are connected to the ground so the four five six seven eight nine all these parts or all these terminals are connected to the ground and here as you can see the terminal or the pin number one and the, the pin number two is connected directly to the power rail as you see here if you check using the multimeter you will find 19 volt so this 19 volt will pass through this PF capacitors as you can see so in one side the PF capacitor is connected to the power rail and in the other side connected to the ground that's why sometimes when you have a dead motherboard you should check this PF capacitors if there is a problem in one of this capacitor means you have a short circuit that's why you should check this PF capacitors near to the DC jack okay here we have a coil L1 means a coil as you can see so this coil also if it is cut the 19 volt will not pass so you should check this coil using the multimeter to check this coil you have to put your multimeter to the buzzer option or to the continuity option and then check it the same its test is the same test as the fuse okay so after this we have here the okay the 19 volt here called also the v adapter okay so here we have 19 volt and also here we will get 19 volt because we have just here a, a coil okay so this 19 volt will pass directly to the first switch or to the first mosfet as you can see here okay so we have here q 1002 this is the reference for this mosfet in the motherboard if you go to the mosfet you will find near to the power jack q1002 is this mosfet as you can see so here we have source it is connected so this coil is connected to this to the source of this mosfet and here we have the gate so here we have the drain as you can see the drain is connected to the drain of the second MOSFET or the second switch and then here we have the source so here we have source three pins here we have a gate and here we have drain so the 19 volt will pass directly through the switch and then also will pass through the switch because always the switch will be activated automatically when you put the adapter here okay and then we will get here as you can see we will get the v bath as you see the v bath that we have seen in the previous lecture in the power sequence this v bath will be distributed to the whole motherboard to every circuit in the motherboard as you see here we have here pages by six seven eight nine and ten means this power or this voltage will go to page six where we have the circuit number one page seven another circuit in page eight another circuit in page nine and page ten in each page here there is a circuit a cpu circuit three volt five volt circuit a 1.5 1.8 circuit etc okay 